Gary Steele, shares of Proofpoint are up over 16% so far this year, but the stock is down from 70, now it's around 55. How is all this volatility affecting you? We've definitely seen a lot of volatility in the market, but the there's been a strong secular trend towards security. Organizations continue to struggle with security issues. We see visible hacks in the media every single day. And as a result of that, there's been strong demand. And so although we do see this broader macro volatility, we feel very confident about the business given the strong demand environment. And on your last earnings call, you said you're going to lose around 39 cents or 40 cents this year. The street expects you to lose about a nickel next year. So do you expect a big cutback in spending? Is that where it's going to come from? We've been very consistent about our approach. One, uh, we believe that we want to deliver great growth, which we've consistently done. Last quarter, we delivered 37% growth on the top line. Um, and we want to deliver that growth while increasing cash flow and profitability. And we've consistently executed on that pledge. Now, lots of people are worried about hacking, none more so than the people who were involved with Ashley Madison, which is the married or people who want to cheat on their spouse website. Could you have helped Ashley Madison out? You know, it, it really depends on exactly how the hacker got into that, that enterprise. Um, the reality is we see roughly 90% of attacks coming in through email as phishing attacks or through mobile or social. Those are the points of penetration into these organizations. So I'm not fully up to speed on exactly what happened at Ashley Madison, but these are common issues that are many organizations face. And clearly the Ashley Madison um, issue raised lots of visibility. Can you talk about how you protect against evil emails? Because as you said, this is the way that a lot of people get into organizations. Sure. Um, one of the most common ways for bad guys or hackers to penetrate the enterprise today is through a phishing email, meaning uh, masquerading as, as somebody else, trying to get someone to either click on a link or click on a weaponized document. When I say weaponized document, I mean you click on, say, a Word document or an Excel file, and in that is malicious code that then compromises your system and allows that hacker to steal information. So what we do is we identify and find those through the technology we've built. We leverage the cloud, and we can identify weaponized documents. We can identify malicious URLs, and we can block people from either clicking on those or opening those particular attachments. Now, a lot of people can't differentiate between all the different cybersecurity firms out there. It's hard. So how does Proofpoint fit in into an overall method for stopping hackers to get into an organization? Do you work with other players? Do you want to be in a suite of things? How's the best way to integrate Proofpoint into an overall defense system? You bet. And one of the things we do see today is organizations revamping their entire security posture. And we see organizations taking out their incumbent solutions that were protecting their email environment and putting something like a proof point in, a next generation solution that solves these kinds of problems. And so what we see today is organizations selecting something specifically to stop these phishing-oriented targeted attacks, and we're one of the few vendors that specialize in that. Is that the first thing people should do, though? I mean, how should, if someone's going to start from ground zero, from, from the start, and build a defense uh, system to protect the organization, what's the best way to approach it? It's um, doing something for these targeted attacks is high on the priority list because this is where 90% of the attacks come in. The other places that we see attacks happening is on social where organizations are leveraging social to communicate broadly. Targeted attacks come in that way. We're also seeing more attacks coming in through mobile where people are downloading all kinds of apps but the reality is those apps oftentimes steal all the information on your phone. And they should stay off that Ashley Madison. That's probably a good idea. Thanks a lot for coming in. All right. Thanks so much. And thank you for watching The Street.